Hey everyone, today I want to introduce you to this plant. They're called dragonberries or pokeweed. They're both a deadly and a very surprisingly edible plant, but you got to know what you're doing. Look how yummy these things look. Despite what you've heard, is it edible or is it toxic? You have to know a little bit about the basics of this plant. And I am going to go so far as to eat one of them just for you. But do not, under any circumstances, try this until you've watched the entire video. Very important. In my quest to learn about this plant's toxins, I filmed it many, many times. But let me start with my introduction from a week ago. Today, I want to introduce you to everything you need to know about this deadly plant known as poke weed or poke salad. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Oh, wow. That smells a lot. This plant is responsible for a lot of poisonings. Maybe the most poisonings in the U.S. every year. Uh, it can kill babies if they eat it, and it can kill adults if you eat um, enough of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that doesn't. Oh, and I remember reading now you're not supposed to put it on your hands because it can absorb through your hands, so I'm going to go wash my hands right now. Make sure you wash your hands after touching the pokeberry. Going to eat one. All right, here goes, going to eat one. I don't want to show you what happened just yet. I think that might be a little irresponsible if I first didn't fill you in on the intensive research I looked up and the interviews I did with experts on it. And if I didn't properly explain this conundrum, let me make it even more simple. For centuries, Native Americans ate and used this plant. Then people in the South started eating it. Ask any old timer in the region and they'll probably give you a recipe. Elvis even sang about it. Oh, salad any. And on YouTube, you'll find plenty of people who will give you recipes on how to cook up the leaves or maybe make some sort of herbal concoction. But, and here's the kicker, if you go to the literature, you'll find a lot of people that have actually died from it. Like the 21 campers who prepared the poke salad by boiling and reboiling the young leaves and then had to go to the hospital because of it. And the camp counselor said he had done this many times before. So was it how he individually prepared this plant or was it variation within the plant? Like maybe he just got a really bad plant. Of course, one of the problems is there are so many toxic compounds in this plant. There are thousands of chemicals and a few of them are really bad for you. It seems like the main one is triterpenoid saponins, which is the soapy substance you feel when you squeeze one between your fingers. And on a plant like this, the most toxic parts are the roots, then the stems, then the new leaves, the old leaves, and then the unripe berries, and then the ripe berries. It turns out the berries are the least toxic part. But the question is just how toxic. And part of the problem is that you can't actually study the toxicity of this plant, specifically on humans, so you have to kind of do it roundabout by looking at the hospital records. But you could actually experiment with it on other mammals like cats and mice. And believe it or not, people have actually done this. So here you go. The dose of saponins that killed 50% of mice, that's the LD50, was about 0.065 milligrams per kilogram. And with a little bit of math, for me, I'd need 5.4 milligrams to kill myself. And death is from respiratory failure. And just for reference, this weighs about 29 milligrams. But the cat study puts the whole thing in perspective a little bit better. When cats were given the toxin, they started to lose the ability to use their front and hind limbs. They had diminished perception of pain. They had a weak heartbeat and death eventually occurred from respiratory failure. They found the LD50 for cats was about one gram per kilogram of pokeweed root. And again, I did some math. So for me, I would need about 85 grams of this plant. And for reference, that's about 17 grapes. Or for a two year old, it's about two grapes. And if this doesn't scare you, it probably should. But what I really want wanted to know was what kind of toxin is this exactly? Like what is the analogy? Was it more like alcohol where at low doses it just kind of like makes you a little bit loopy, uh, medium to high doses over time can really kill your liver, or at high doses in one particular setting can just kill you outright? Or was it more like aspirin which we get from willows? This plant, important, medicinal, we use it all the time. This is willow. In small doses, aspirin is the medicine we all know. And in high doses, you take 100 pills, for instance, it'll totally kill you. You see, if it's more like aspirin, then the claims that this plant cures things as far ranging as arthritis and cancer might hold a little bit of water. So I called up someone who got their PhD in pokeweed toxins. 
And despite nerding out on pokeberries for about a half an hour, I came out of it with this. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff in pokeweed. So like the dose makes the poison. Pokeweed doesn't have thorns. It doesn't have spines. It doesn't have anything like that. So it's only got its chemicals. And so it's making all sorts of chemicals. Maybe some of them work against Caterpillar X and some of them work against deer and some of them work against Caterpillar Y. And what was so neat is she studied the gradient of toxicity from north to south. So I think it's kind of a mystery, like why do people eat pokeweed in the south? Because my work shows that like the southern pokeweed is more toxic, but also the caterpillars eat it more in the south. Now we still don't understand this. Maybe it's just cultural in the south or maybe in the south, it's the least toxic of the toxic things. I don't really know. I also know that with thousands of chemicals in this plant, some of them might actually be good for us. We just don't know enough about them yet. And the way modern medicine works is you take each individual chemical, you isolate it, and then you test it. And you have to test it on humans. And for pokeweed, most of the chemicals have not been fully studied, especially on humans. So maybe this plant does something. I'm not exactly sure. What I did know is that the lethal dose is more like this entire stalk and not just one. So I thought I would try one individual one and report back to you. This is probably a really bad idea. Oh. Turns out I was okay, but it tastes terrible. Oh, that was not a good idea. Oh, it's very strong, very strong. And I actually think that's probably a good thing because it means you're not gonna take one of the berries and start eating a whole bunch of them. And it probably also means your kids are not going to do the same thing. Do you eat it? Yeah, no! But the take home is that you need to learn to identify this plant. I mean, it is found all over the country. Look at all the places it grows. And this plant has relatives worldwide. Now, before I go, I wanted to tackle one last legend, and that was that the ink from this plant was used to sign the Declaration of Independence. First things first, I had to see if I could make ink from it. I picked the right berries, used a strainer, added a bit of salt and vinegar to it, then tested it out. And it turns out it does really well in watercolor, and I made this card with it. And when I brought this up to the expert, here's what she said. Pokeweed was, ink was used to write the Declaration of Independence, and I've dug into it enough that it actually is a myth. <laughs> it's not true. Okay. Um, but people say that often. And knowing this plant will also mean you're not gonna mistake this as a grape or you're gonna dig up the roots and eat it as a tuber or something. And the silver lining is look how pretty this beautiful plant is. I mean, as long as you don't eat it or let somebody else eat it, you'll be fine. And it's a neat plant to have around the house. Here's some footage of me geeking out about it when I found it in the garden. Cause I want you to see this beautiful red stem. I kind of like that it's a deadly plant that's in the yard. So if I take these off, like those just crumble in my hand. Look at that, oh. So whether you're cooking up this plant to try to eat it, uh, or maybe you were looking it up to try to figure out if the berries are edible and you wanna try them for some herbal remedy. Look, you just ate it in the video. Or some kid ate one and you're trying to figure out what to do, how toxic is it? I hope this video was a little bit useful for you. Now let me give you a couple of things that you can leave with and continue your education. The first thing is that you could pick up the new book that Haley and I wrote called Mother Nature Is Not Trying to Kill You. It just came out yesterday. The box just came. I'm so excited. Whoa! Hot diggity. Pokeweed is in here along with a lot of other plants and animals. The whole thing is a wildlife and bushcraft survival guide. The other thing you could do is you could head over to our Patreon site. You're actually doing a lot to help sustain the work that we're doing on wildlife education because let's face it, YouTube doesn't pay a lot for these kind of videos. In fact, nobody else really pays for them, but I think it's really important for people to continue this outdoor education. Uh, no kids can eat it because it's poison. You can get discounts on the book. You get to meet my family. Come over here, August. Uh, and we do behind the scenes stuff that nobody else gets to see. And you get discounts also on the courses and different things that we do. And I'm going to send out autographed copies of the book. Maybe August, you want to sign one too and send it out to people? Anyways, uh, click on this video. It's our most popular one. It's the deer video. That's a good one, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or click on this one, which is the one YouTube thinks you would like. Either way, make sure you're subscribed to Stone Age Man because we have a lot more videos about wildlife around us coming out soon. Uh, you want to say anything? Is it the mosquito video, by the way? Oh, maybe. Is it? Ha, ha, ha.